Before we get into the video, I will be doing a squad builder every single Wednesday, so leave any suggestions in the comment section. It will be uploaded at 8pm. I've got a proper YouTube schedule. I'll do a video on it soon, but yeah, I'll be doing a new squad builder, so let me know budget players you want in in the comment section below, and I'll pick the best one, and yeah, I'll use it and review it, etc. So anyway, let's get into this squad builder. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you in a million coin squad builder. I think the only reason I'm doing this is because, if you did see, in the foot draft, I did get Gareth Bale in a semi-pro win. Now, uh, yeah, he's the, the main reason I built this squad, so let's get into it. So, we got a couple of lone players, as you can see, they're expired in here, but we got Tony Cruz first of all. Uh, I'll go through the team at the end during the highlights, as always. But uh, yeah, the other one we did use is Thiago Silva, and then for the last two games we used Marquinhos, and as you can see he's got a red card. But yeah, they were the only two lone players, I thought I've got them there, so why don't I use them effectively? Right back, we've got Danilo, new transfer for Real Madrid, very useful for hybrid squad builders because that Brazilian link which he does give to Thiago Silva. Then, the other centre-back is David Luiz, very, very overpowered, one upgrade from last year, he's around 25k, roughly. Prices are fluctuating like, like so much, so it's hard to put a price on them, but Trap is the goalkeeper, nice and cheap, 1,000 coins and a very solid option, and again, great for hybrids if you want to get someone like Thiago Silva and Boateng as centre-back partnerships, he would work. Now on the left, we've got the highest rated uh, fullback in the game, non-legend fullback, and that is David Alaba, 95k, and for stats like that, he's worth every penny, 5 foot 11 as well, so it, it, it it's not too bad a height for a left back. If it was a centre back, maybe he'd be a bit on the small side, but he's not, so he's very, very effective there. The other centre mid we've got, we've got Ika Gundogan, um, a very good, solid player again, uh, defensively. Not as solid, but the rest of his stats are really, really good. 85 dribbling and 82 passing, being his main ones, as well as 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot. Then we move into the cam, and we've got our only informed player, and that is Shinji Kagawa. Really, really good card. There's 4-star skills and 4-star weak foot. Again, 88 dribbling and 81 pace, being his main attributes, and I really did think his card was very, very good. On the left, we've got uh, Frank Ribery. I think we paid about yeah, 185k for him, 87 pace, 91 dribbling and of course that 5 star skill moves a little bit of a downgrade from last year but still a very very good card. And then up front we've got one of the most overpowered cards on the game and that is Pierre-Henrik Aubameyang, 95 pace, 81 shooting and 6 foot 2. Not much more you uh, can ask for to be honest, especially for 52k, I'll quickly check if he still goes for roughly around that, he is even more now, he's like 60. So uh, yeah, this is the team and I'll let you know how it plays in the highlights. I love this team so much, but the problem was, was the wingers, Bale and Ribery. In this formation, they do very, very little. It's very centralised, so it's the centre mids and the cams that are chiming in with the goals and a Aubameyang just gets a shit ton of them. Bale and Ribery are great players. I've used them in other squads and um, they seem to be better as left mid or left, uh, sorry, a right mid. But in this formation, 4-3-3 brackets for wingers, no matter who they are, it could be anyone, it could be I, Bob or anyone, just don't seem to get involved as much. It's more centralised. That might just be the way I play with this formation. But as I say, Aubameyang, absolutely terrific. In form, Kagawa, he was probably, you know, I'd say, I'd say even better than Aubameyang in terms of uh, playmaking, etc. And what he did for the team. He was absolutely exceptional. But if you send Aubameyang through, he is, he's just going to bomb through, use his ridiculous strength which probably is coupled with his 6 foot 2 height and uh, yeah he'll just bury them in, he can head them in, he can do anything, I mean I didn't cross too much which is probably why the wingers weren't as effective for me but the rest of the team fantastic, you've got Cruz etc in the uh, the centre mid there uh, getting the passes and look at this for a free kick from Cruz, oh I love that man, you've got numerous free kick takers, the defence is fairly solid, the goalkeeper is decent, it's just a well rounded team and for about a million coins, I'd say it's worth it but as I say, Ribery and Bale maybe try and get like cheap alternatives because there's no point in spending majority of the funding on those two when the wingers are pretty non-existent in this formation but anyway hopefully I've enjoyed and yeah, peace.